Hey, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Yeah, spending a day kind of flat on my back. I was crouched over a bit too much in my chair yesterday and just kind of put a little strain on my back. Just thought I'd take it nice and easy. I can record from bed. No, it's not the greatest for you, but sorry about that for now. Anyway, I want to talk to you today about relationships. If you're going to be a close relationship, I don't care whether you're gay, straight, bi, whatever. When you're entering into a relationship, you need to be as truthful as possible. Now, I don't suggest just meeting the person say, Hi, I'm a type 1 diabetic. But when they go in and ask you, Tell me about yourself. That may be a good time to tell them, Hey, you know where I'm a type 1 diabetic. I have to take insulin. Most long-term relationships happen when people tell the truth. If six months into the event, you and your significant other go out for dinner or go out exercising, and all of a sudden you start having a low and start... Because you know how us type ones do. It's going to be A... Hard to explain, because it's already going to be hard to explain. And B, the trust really isn't there. Now think about it if it was flipped around. How do you think you would feel if someone didn't tell them? And I can remember this woman years ago, and she got married... And on the wedding night, her and her husband went to bed. And while they were sleeping, the husband had a full-blown, uh, I think it's called grand mal seizure. But he, you know, was freaking out. And she, like, oh, my God. So, you know, she called the ambulance and the whole bed. But, you know, don't let it get to that point you should discuss it with them. Now, when I taught, and I taught my self, your feelings about yourself, when you stand up to introduce yourself, a lot of people will list their negativities first. Hi, I'm Mike, I'm a diabetic, I take insulin every single day. To me, that's got to be well down the list. But when I'm introduced to people, things will come out early in the conversations. Don't hold it back. Don't, you know, think, oh, well, he'll like me better if he thinks I'm perfect in every way. Well, we all know that we're not perfect. So, get on with it. And, you know, they'll stick around if they truly love me. Well, why are you putting such a big test on your relationships? Being in a relationship is difficult for anyone. So don't... Oh, well... Yes, they'll have to accept me the way they are. How are you accepting of them? Oh, I accept everything of them. What about a birth defect that they can't have kids? Oh, but if you love me, you'll stay in the relationship. It's the same difference. If... You get into a relationship and you talk it all out and then if you have a diabetic emergency chances are 
they'll be able to handle it. Now, I don't want you to think that everyone's going to be able, oh, okay, you know, some may decide not to go after a relationship. But it's better that you learn, sorry, not learn, it's better that it happens way at the beginning before you're emotionally involved. Because if you don't, guess what's going to happen to your blood sugars? They're going to start up and down. Trust me. Oh, sorry, there's just a pillow in my, my back that's bothering me. Just one sec here. I'll be right back. Oh, I got the pillow. Oh, that feels much better. But, you know, so often we think, oh, well, I have to be perfect in every sort of way. No one's going to love me because I'm a diabetic. Well, think about that. Your family... Did they run away from you because you were type 1 diabetic? Chances are most of your close friends as kids didn't step away from you because you were a diabetic. And you know what? If they do, chances are it wasn't a positive relationship to be in. People need to be aware that, yes, people come with all different sorts of problems and but again it goes back to stop listening to your worst critic and who's that who's my worst critic oh my god I got a critic out there the worst critic is you you do role plays in your mind oh that's gonna make that person, oh, they're not going to like me. Oh, no. Oh, God. You're putting things that they have to live up to. And they haven't even done anything. They don't even know you're a diabetic. Now, teenage years and learning this all from the get-go are terrible. It was terrible learning how to be in a relationship. We all mature at different levels. We all had our first relationship at different times. Now, out of all the relationships I've seen, and I've seen quite a few, and those who broke up were, well, you know, he wasn't truthful with me. Now, diabetes isn't up there with, oh, my God, he lives with a secret family, and I only see him on the weekends and all that. And again, you know, if they, how do you say think that you're not worth sticking around for because you are a diabetic, well, maybe that wasn't the greatest relationship for you. Don't let it get you down. Get out there. Meet people. Build awesome relationships because you are worth it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.